Hi, this is Grace. Uh, this is Vintage Film Channel. I'm here with the two old guys again. We might just say we're two old guys. Two old guys. Art and uh, John from Celebrating Act Two. We're, we're here on Vintage Film Channel to talk about vintage film. Today, Mac and Meyer for Hire, kind of a weird little show. Art, you did a little research on, on where it came from. Mac and Meyer only lasted for a year, but they made a hundred episodes of these like 10 or 12 minute pieces. That was still relatively early television. Believe me, working in television at that time didn't seem that early to me, but it was. Well, I, I just wanted to mention the guy that produced this show. His name is Sandy Howard. Familiar name. Produced some other stuff. I thought Ron Howard. No, they're not related. But he produced Howdy Doody. Sure. He produced Captain Kangaroo. Oh, wow. He produced a show called uh, Police Station, 1959. I think I have an episode or two of that in the collection. You've got something in your vault. You've got everything in your vault. And a movie. I remember this movie, and I'm pretty sure I remember the actor. It was called A Man Called Horse. And I think it was Richard Harris. A Man Called Horse. It was 1970, a, a feature film. That was a fabulous movie. I loved it. And he produced a bunch of other stuff, too. And uh, uh, so he had some history. But, John, I was going to ask you uh, about the characters here and the actors. Is there anything specific about those guys? Mac and Meyer are Mickey Deems, played Mac. And I'm looking at my notes. Joey Fay played Meyer. Both of these guys were, first of all, they had long careers, but they always appeared in a one, I call it a one-off, a walk-on kind of thing. They were great character actors. Yeah, their background, their background was vaudeville, was, was it not? Yeah, Joey, Joey Fay was really burlesque, which is kind of a version of vaudeville, the illegitimate child of vaudeville, if you will. But he, Joey Fay worked with a lot of greats like Phil Silver, uh, people who did vaudeville and, and burlesque. And he had a wonderful career afterwards, as well as Mickey Deems. Now, Mickey Deems, interestingly enough, if you read the credits to this episode that you've got, Grace, it says Mickey Deems supervised the comedy. Well, what does that mean? He didn't direct the comedy, but he, he was a guy who created comedy. Mickey Deems went on to do appearances in shows, famous sitcoms, mostly one-off appearances. Laverne and Shirley. Operation Petticoat, The Jeffersons, uh, Car 54, Where Are You?, and a long list of Broadway. Uh, Mickey Deems did a lot of Broadway stuff, is listed, uh, by the way, he's listed in the Broadway credits, uh, the historic Broadway credits, as having worked with Max Liebman. Max Liebman is the guy, the pro Broadway producer who did your show of shows with Sid Caesar. So these, both of these guys are classic comedy experts, if you will. And Joey Fay, I got one more tidbit for Joey Fay. Joey Fay, he is given credit and, and said that he originated two famous Abbott and Costello routines. One of which is one of which is slowly I turned. Step by step. Slowly I turned. And the other is Flugel Street. It's a it's an Abbott and Costello routine. Uh, that Joey Faye says he originated, which is simply a vaudeville excuse to have slapstick. One guy standing on a corner, people come by and give him trouble. This is all classic slapstick. These, these guys were masters. There's a guy named Alan Oppenheimer. Apparently this guy uh, was a famous voice actor and voiced a lot of cartoons and other stuff. I stumbled onto an audio interview in which uh, he said that he worked for Sandy Howard on this program, but he was uncredited in an unknown role, but not on screen. I'm Grace, Vintage Film Channel. This is Art and John from Celebrating Act Two. Uh, we'll have an episode of Mac and Meyer coming up pretty soon, colorized, as we are doing this season. And so I uh, hope you enjoy it. Let us know if you do. If you don't, I guess you should let us know that as well. <laughs> if you don't like it, tell tell John. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us. Uh, appreciate it. Adios.
What are you doing? I'm mopping the floor. If you mop the floor around me, I'm going to have to walk on the wet floor. If I walk on the wet floor, you're going to have to mop again. If I don't walk on the wet floor, I'm going to have to stand here until it dries. So start mopping over there, and when I'm done, I'll give you a hand. Okay. nitro in the hole and we'll blow the tumble. Maya. What are you doing? I had a buzzing in my ear. Which ear? This one. Turn your head that way. Yeah, good work, boys. Make sure you wipe everything clean so we leave no fingerprints. Hey, Mac, there are three guys in the other office that are dusting off the place. Don't be ridiculous. We were hired to do this job. I just looked in there. They're cleaning up the whole office. You stay here and finish this. I'll go in there and give them a piece of my mind for taking our job. Good idea. <laughs> What's going on here? Hiya. <laughs> Just who are you, buddy? <laughs> Repeat that. Oh, no, 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 no. How many of you guys are there? <laughs> Don't give me any of that secret code stuff. <laughs> Turn around. Put your hands against the wall. Uh, and don't move. Not even an inch. Here, keep them covered while I check the door. What do you get your hands on the wall for? Push got a gun in my back. Oh. All right, you guys. Hold them up. Oh, look, uh, this is no time to land. They went around the building on the ledge. Come on. <laughs> they walked all around the building. Can't find them. Guess they crawled in one of the windows. Check with the other office again. <laughs> I 
think they've gone. Good, then let's get out of here. <laughs> well, they're not in here. Come on. If we better spread out, search the whole building. <laughs> Oh, I 